Hello everyone, my name is Hao Feng Jiang, and today we are talking about Banach Fixed Point Theorem. It is a widely used mathematical theorem in mathematical analysis, which is stated by Stephen Banach in 1922. It's about 100 years ago. About 100 years ago. So what is a fixed point? It's pretty simple. A fixed point it's a kind of x0, which satisfies tx0 equals to x0. If x0 satisfies this situation, then x0 is a fixed point of a map t, because it doesn't move. It doesn't move by the transformation t. So here, we come up with the, fixed point, the definition of fixed point and bank. Now we're going to introduce a very important definition about contraction mapping. Because this kind of theorem is based on this mapping. Here, we have a non-empty complete matrix space about x, d. What is a complete matrix space? It means that all the Cauchy sequence in x has a limit is also in x. In other words, all the Cauchy sequence in x converges in x, and d it's a map. It's another map. Uh, specifically, it is 2x times together that leads to an R, a real number. And now we have a T that is maps x to x. That for all x, y belongs to x, there exists a real number Q greater than 0 and less than 1, such that d t x t y less or equal than q, q times d x y. Then t is a contraction mapping. So how to understand that? What is the English of contraction? Shrink. We make it shrink. We make it small. Since q is between 0 and 1, then this term is larger. This term is smaller. So we can have a such map that makes a former bigger one to a smaller one, then it is a contraction, because it shrinks. So here we have enough background of Banach fixed point theorem. Now we come up with the part 4. The theorem, part one. The same as contracting map. We have a XD, which is a non-empty complete metric space. With a transformation T. From X to X. Such that. It is a contraction. Then, by the theorem, there exists a unique x naught such that x naught is a fixed point. In other words, x0 equals x0. It's pretty straightforward, right? Because it's a fixed point theorem. It is concerning a fixed point that is unique and exists. How to understand this? Maybe we can have a new example about the Canadian maps. Okay, here's a map of Canada. Here is also a map of Canada, but it is smaller. Now we make the bigger map fully contains the smaller one, which generate a contraction mapping of cities in Canada. Since we make it shrink, so it is fully satisfies the definition of a contraction, attraction mapping. In this case, for example, Ottawa maps from here to here, Toronto from here to here, Quebec from here to here. You can see that. 
However, by Banach fixed, fixed point theorem, there only exists one point that the two maps laid this way indicate the same city. In other words, there's only one city that does not move by this transformation. Let's see, maybe this one. This is white horse. In this case, the city is white horse. You can see that apart from white horse, in this case, all cities have been moved under this transformation. It's amazing, right? If we modify the transformation by dragging the smaller map, like this way. You see this way, Toronto. Toronto becomes the fixed city. By banished fixed theorem, Toronto is the unique fixed point in this case now. So whenever we drag or even shrink more to the smaller map, as long as it is fully contained by the bigger map to be a contraction, there still exists a fixed point representing the fixed city. The fixed point may change as you drag, but it still exists and it is unique. I think it is a very vivid example of the Banach fixed theorem. I hope you will understand more. Okay, that is the part one of the Banach fixed point theorem. Now let's invite Rosson to show us part two of this theorem. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Halpern, and I'm Rosan Jiang. And now I'm going to introduce the part two, which is introducing what is iteration and also the relationship between iteration and Banach fixed point theorem. First, let's introduce what is iteration. Iteration is a repetition of a progress in order to generate a sequence of outcomes. The sequence will approach an endpoint or maybe an end value. Each repetition of the progress is a single rep uh, is a single iteration, and the outcome of, and the outcome of each iteration becomes the starting point of next iteration. Now let's see what is the relationship between iteration and Banach fixed point theorem. That's using iteration to find the Banach Banach fixed point. And also by the example of Canada map. Okay, assume the bigger map, like this one, to be the first term of the sequence, and the smaller map to be the second term of sequence. And assume the mapping from the, the bigger map to the smaller map to be the common ratio of the rep, uh, iteration. So the map is becoming smaller and smaller with the same rate. And as the number of the terms goes to positive infinite, the area of the map will go to almost zero. Right? So let's assume that will be a point and assume the point to be here and it is a point A. Okay. Then by applying Banach fixed point theorem, we will know that there should only uh, there should be a point that never move along the iteration. Because when the number of terms come to uh, positive infinite, this is only a point A. So the point A is the Banach fixed point that we are going to find. So these, these are the relationship between iteration and Banach fixed, fixed point. Okay, now let's do a conclusion about the relationship between iteration and Banach fixed point theory. So, the relationship. First, we need to find a starting element. Let's assume it is starting element x1, and also a sequence. And also we need a mapping, right? A contraction mapping. Which is from X to X. 
Okay, then we need to construct an, an iteration. So the iteration is xn equals to t xn minus 1, right? So by these iterations, we can, how, how can we find the Banach fixed point? So the fixed point is the limit of uh, the limit of n when n comes to positive infinity. So the limit of n comes to positive infinite of x n it should be equals to the fixed point that is x naught. So these are the relationship between Banach fixed point theorem and iteration. These are these are all about what we are going to introduce about Banach fixed point theorem. Thank you for watching.